Not only do we have teachers, we have steel workers, we have other unions here. That is yeah. just fantastic. Yeah. message today is that we want the school board to take the handbook that they've created, which we feel is incredibly divisive and removes everything that we worked for 30 years here in Kakana to create with consensus bargaining. We want them to throw that away, sit down at a table with us, and if we have to have an employee handbook, come up with some solutions that will work for teachers, will work for the district, and will especially work for students and ensure that students receive a great education here in Kakana. The way they've got it set up right now is incredibly divisive, morale has been terrible, the climate is terrible, and the only way to turn that around is to get rid of that employee handbook and sit down with us and have a conversation. We tried to bargain an extension. The association made several attempts to meet with the board and we were told, no, we're not ready, we need more time, no. And then of course, timelines ran out and we got this great handbook. A handbook that attacks our ability, teachers here ability to do their job the right way. High school, instead of having five classes out of a seven period day, will now have six. Teachers know what that impact has on preparing for the classes that they have and the extra work they're going to have to do. Principals can now dictate to the staff that they want you here in the evening for extracurriculars and the heck that you may have a family at home where you have to go see your son or daughter's extracurricular. It's up to the principal. That's not the Kakana way. The Kakana way has been to sit down if there's a problem and let's talk it out and let's work it out. If you've got to have a handbook, fine, let's make a handbook, but let's do it together. We claimed this is going to reduce class sizes. Well, yes, it is going to reduce class sizes, but at what cost? You added another section to a teacher who is going to now be teaching six sections, <coughs> possibly 30 students per class. That is 180 students a day that that teacher needs to be responsible for all their learning, not counting the committees, not counting the extra now that they are going to have to do at the request of their principal outside the school day without compensation. Thoughtful, collaborative dialogue is the only way to decide what's best for our kids. And that's why we're all here tonight. Kids are not going to go to school here unless you change this and this make this more of a cooperative and collaborative situation. Please, I'm begging you. That's the importance of collective bargaining. It ensures that no one group has too much power. In the situation we have now, like we've seen with Governor Walker and the Republicans, it's all about power. They want the power. It's not about the money. If it was about the money, they would have taken the deals we've offered them. It's about the power. And when they have all the power, the kids lose, and the teachers lose, and our communities lose. That's why having a union is so important.